sort of a paradoxical way because this is a Nobel Prize series of um, atomic structure but I am going to uh, talk about a guy who did not receive Nobel Prize uh, but I would still include him because of special stature he has in not only just in my mind but many of the uh, scientists at that time when he was lived. Okay? He was only 27 when he died and it was not a natural death. Uh, it was in uh, Turkey, Gallipoli, where uh, he was stationed during the First World War. He had to stop his research at uh, Oxford to go back to the uh, war field and he died uh, uh, because of the, uh, the war action, activities in the war. Okay? Just in that short 27 years, he made such major contributions to science, especially in chemistry, even though, again a paradox, he was trained in physics, okay? And his field, special, specialized field is uh, X-ray spectroscopy, okay? And uh, uh, the elements, uh, there are, um, uh, I think, about 68 of them at that time. Not all, um, lanthanides were not discovered. Uh, actinides were not discovered, noble gases were not there and even in Mendeley's periodic table there were several gaps, okay? And uh, uh, the Mendeley made the periodic table depending on the atomic mass. From X-ray spectroscopy, uh, Moseley found that is not the appropriate approach, right approach. So he uh, found out each element has a extra crystallographic features that will uh, point to the atomic number. That means number of protons. Okay, number of, that that is also same as the number of electrons in the uh, outside of the nucleus. Okay, so that is what he focused on. And when he made the rearranged the periodic table, it looked exactly the same as that of Mendeley. Uh, still empty spaces at uh, areas of um, uh, at atomic masses 43, 61, 72, 75, noble gases, then some of these inversions like in potassium and calcium or um, in a cobalt and nickel, those things could be corrected, okay? And that, that was a major achievement at the time, okay? And at the time of his death, it was um, uh, generally believed that uh, he will be awarded the Nobel Prize in uh, 1916, okay? Uh, but he did not live up to that. On 10th of August uh, 1915, uh, he uh, was killed, okay? Now, uh, his uh, other elements he discovered were uh, hafnium and rhenium. Uh, uh, technetium is uh, um, element number 43, okay? That is not there. That is a radio very radioactive material. That is a synthetic element. We use it in uh, some cardiac scanning, okay? Technetium scanning. Uh, also other elements which uh, he uh, gave the name, discovered, was uh, element number 61, which they could not have a uh, element known at that time when the periodic table was made, okay? The prediction was made that that, that should be called a promethium and that uh, 72 there will be hafnium and 75 there is rhenium, okay? Those elements came much, much later. So what a prophetic scientific vision for such a young person who had a tragic death, okay? So I am including him as uh, one of my noble heroes even though he never received a Nobel Prize. Thank you.